Yellowstone Volcano Eruption USGS predicts super eruption date, lava will flow. Yellowstone Volcano will erupt again, scientists are certain, and the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, has now revealed when the next mega blast will go off. Yellowstone Volcano is estimated to have last erupted 640,000, 1.2 million and 2.1 million years ago. The world's attention is now firmly focused on when the supervolcano in the northwest United States will go off again. Yellowstone Volcano is monitored around the clock by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, branch of the USGS. Any signs of imminent eruption will be preceded by earthquakes, ground uplift and unusual volcanic activity. But the USGS has looked back at the history of past Yellowstone eruptions to predict when the supervolcano will erupt again. Sharing their revelations during a Facebook Live event in April 2018, USGS geologists Michael Poland and Wendy Stovall said there are no signs of Yellowstone acting out of the norm at the moment. In the distant future, however, the risk of the volcano erupting again increases. Dr. Stovall said there is an average 740,000-year interval in between Yellowstone's major caldera forming eruptions. The time frame gives geologists a good idea when Yellowstone might pop again 100,000 to 140,000 years into the future. The Yellowstone expert said, you can't get really statistically accurate if you look at only two intervals. And the way that it works is that this volcanic field has cycles that it goes through. It erupts and it erupts rhyolite lava flows and then it will erupt in a super eruption and then more rhyolite lava flows will come in and fill in the caldera, so the super eruption will form a caldera. The USGS scientist pointed out Yellowstone's last super eruption suggests the supervolcano will remain dormant for a long time. But should it erupt again, Yellowstone volcano will likely produce incredible amounts of lava and ash. She said. So, if that interval is correct 740,000 years, and it's been 600,000 years from the last one, then we're really 140,000 years away from another eruption. That's one aspect of it, but if it does erupt again, more than likely we would see more of those lava flows. Those lava flows will have an impact inside the park, they're very big. The last one was 700,000 years ago and it erupted an area, which was the size of Washington DC, called the Pitchstone Plateau. In addition to the lava flows, there were mild explosives eruptions, not putting ash very high into the atmosphere but definitely things that would impact the National Park area. We're not seeing any signs presently that Yellowstone is doing anything different than it has. We've had lots of indications that all of the seismic swarms have been happening since we've been monitoring and it hasn't erupted yet, so we don't expect that it will erupt anytime soon. In addition, the YVO branch of the USGS said there are no indications the next Yellowstone eruption will be volcanic, explosive or a combination of both. The most likely blast to occur is a hydrothermal one, involving one of Yellowstone volcano's many signature hot springs and geysers. The USGS said, the most likely type of eruption would not be volcanic but, rather, hydrothermal. This type of small, but still explosive eruption can occur from shallow reservoirs of steam or hot water rather than molten rock. These reservoirs are the sources of Yellowstone's famous geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles.